Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Spring Boot developers encounter. Our viewer wants to know how to run multiple tests from different classes in Spring Boot 1.5. Specifically, they have tests for Service 1 in Service 1 test.java and tests for Service 2 in Service 2 test.java. And they want to run both sets of tests in one go. Let's dive into this common challenge and explore how to streamline your testing process. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Let's get to run multiple tests in Spring Boot, we can utilize the JUnit framework, which is integrated into Spring Boot. First, ensure that you have JUnit included in your project dependencies. Next, we can create a test suite that will allow us to run tests from multiple classes together. This is done by using the at suite annotation. Now, you can run the all tests class and it will execute all the tests from both service one test and service two test classes in one go. Finally, make sure to check the results in your console or test report to verify that all tests have passed successfully. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To run multiple tests in Spring Boot, you can use IntelliJ or any IDE. Both Gradle and Maven have a standardized project structure for tests. Place your test classes in the test root directory. You can run tests using MVN test or during the build process. In IntelliJ, you can run specific tests or test suites easily using icons next to the line numbers. Look for the green play buttons. Be cautious with test suites. If not configured correctly, tests may run multiple times, leading to duplicates. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.